aerial view gives a unique perspective on a vast landscape such as the Acapanco Delta. To achieve extraordinary top shots, Planet Earth pioneered the latest in high-tech filming. Meet the Chopper Squad. Producer Mark Linfield teamed up with helicopter pilot Peter Perlstein and Hollywood aerial cameraman Michael Kellen. This helicopter is fitted with a new high-definition camera system, the Heli Gimbal. Originally invented for the military, it's only been used so far in Hollywood movies and glossy adverts. Filming for Planet Earth will be the first time that a high-tech system like this has been taken into the wild. The chopper squad fly the heli gimbal into the swampy heart of the delta, an area inaccessible to ground film crews. With a 360-degree view and an extremely powerful lens, the camera can zoom in from a kilometre away. The animal remains totally undisturbed, oblivious to the film crew hovering high above. The gyro-stabilized camera produces rock-solid images, both in wide shots and in close-up. For the first time, wildlife can be put in context of the epic landscape in which it lives. This aerial system is key to the team's most challenging mission, filming African wild dogs hunting, impossible to follow and film from the ground alone. A highly experienced ground crew joins forces with the chopper squad. Mike Holding has been filming hunting dogs for over 10 years, but even he has never successfully filmed a complete hunt from the ground. In such rough terrain, even keeping up with the dogs is a struggle, and filming anything more than glimpses is completely impossible. Today, the challenge is to track the dogs so that Mike can guide in the helicopter. We just saw an impala come flying past us here, which means the dogs are actually hunting in this area. So all hell will be breaking loose here. Whoa! Ah! Time to call in the chopper squad. The dogs are now racing ahead. Peter, you better get in here. They're moving towards Impala. A, a thousand feet behind you there. Oh, they stopped. It's chaos for the ground crew, making it impossible to film anything. Oh, there they are, down below. Okay. Nine o'clock. Well done. Straight beneath us. OK, left, left, left. Turn left. From a great height, the camera locks onto the target, and Michael zooms in for a closer shot. You can see the dogs here in the monitor. And then a reasonable size, but they're actually way, way off in the distance, probably at least a kilometre and a half away. The ground crew finally catch up, but face a new hitch. Who has the right away in a situation like this? <laughs> it looks like, uh, I don't know, a stalemate at the crossroads. The dog's interest in the car is short-lived. They've already given up hunting and are on their way back to their den. Yay! <laughs> it's home time for everyone. He's a maniac. The ground crew's day starts well before sunrise. They must reach the den before the dogs wake up, or they will lose them. Yesterday they caught us napping. They went out earlier than we expected. We spent three hours trying to catch up with them, so we're going to try not to do that today. Sure enough, the dogs are already up and about. The ground crew must keep on their tails until it's light enough for the chopper squad to take off. The dogs seem oblivious to the filming vehicle and to the helicopter flying high above them. Five, six, three, business. The 
dogs are starting to hunt. If you can pull back slightly. Oh, hang on, they might be onto something. Yeah, this one seems to be. Yeah, they've clocked something. Don't, don't do anything, Michael. Nothing rash. But there's two of them stalking. They're stalking. Just Wait. hold still, Peter. Uh, yeah. Hopefully, they're just going to make a dart out of these trees and so get ready. This could be Martin's only chance. I reckon it's 10 seconds, they'll go. Going, going, going. And they're off. They're off. They're off. Hold that. That's nice. Just keep that going. All waving as a group. That's a nice shot. This is a unique perspective on a dog hunt. A revelation even to the local experts. He's flat out on the path after their impala. Exactly. Oh no! I can't believe it. That was so close. Oh. For the chopper crew, it's a short ride back to their landing pad in the bush. The ground crews still have a two-hour journey. Back at camp, there's a worrying turn of events. There has been an accident, and a tent has caught fire. The camp staff are onto it straight away. Put sand on it. Put sand on it. Okay. All right. If that had gone near the drums of fuel and the chopper, we would have had an explosion that is just not even worth imagining. And it's got the heli gimbal attached to it as well. <laughs> I don't want to think about it. I really don't want to think about it. With the chopper and the heli gimbal still intact, the aerial team embark on a gruelling 10-day stint. They set off every morning and evening, but after 50 hours of flying, they're making little headway with filming a hunt. Still got tomorrow. We still got tomorrow morning. We will get it tomorrow morning. We will. There we have it. Sunrise over the Okavango Delta. Seven o'clock, dead. It's looking promising. The dogs are already on to something. Hold that. Quick go or not. Hold that. That's nice. Just keep that going. All waving as a group. That's a nice shot. Yeah, it feels like a real pack hunt. Nice shot. If I can see them from the chopper. There, 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 go, there, go. They're racing, they're racing, they're oh, racing. We can't they're they're them. Where are they? Where are they? There, 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 o'clock. There they go. Three, four dogs all spread out. Yep. Oh, yep. Uh, tighten up, tighten up as much as you can. That's good. Stay with him, stay with him, stay with him, stay with him. He's almost got him. Uh, stay with him, he's gonna get him. Stay with him, stay with him. Oh, he's heading towards, towards the water, he's heading towards the water. Yeah, the guy's procking away. Oh, nice shot, though. Ah, uh, he's given he, it away. Take it. Oh, 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 the oh, oh, the croc's going to get that impala. Oh, go for the impala. The croc's going to get that impala. The go. dogs are all surrounded this impala. You're going to see these dogs grab this impala when it comes out. Oh, the great. OK, the let's get close to the impala. So when he comes out, oh, we're on it. With lunch seemingly in the bag, the dogs frustrate the chopper crew with a mysterious exit. Oh, these dogs are really knocking I can't knocking believe it. these dogs. That was the closest. That was. He was so close to that guy. That is the closest I've ever heard a turban. Oh, I mean, I just, yeah. I thought it was in the bank. He was closing in on him so well. I know, he was. The air crew think they failed again, but soon catch up with the dogs and call in the ground crew. Well, here we are. They're on a kill somewhere in front of us. The helicopter's right above us filming. We're trying to get through this big stuff. Duck, duck, duck. We're trying to get through the thick stuff to them to get some ground shots. At last, after two weeks of near misses, the whole sequence has come together in the final hour, both from the ground and the air. A complete wild dog hunt as it's never been seen before. That's amazing. That is absolutely amazing.